are here at National Quartet Convention, and I have a very special guest, Mr. Chris Jones. He is a DJ. And you're kind of an online television DJ? Yeah, with uh, New Journey Radio. You like to talk about So, New Journey Radio, which is all internet based, and we have an app for all your phones. And so you can just go to the app store that with New Journey Radio and listen to that all day long. And we have live programming that comes on. And I do a program on YouTube Monday evenings and Wednesday evenings from 9 to 11. And that's Eastern. Every and, Monday, be, every Wednesday. and you're a blessing. I'm, I tell you, I'm here. Yeah. I'm coming back at you. We have a good time. But uh, it's so good to have you and glad to see you here. The girls aren't with you tonight. They are. I'm singing Christian Cross yes, yes. And Susan's actually a, um, a school teacher, so it's kind of different from her being off work. But uh, talking to everybody today, we're going to try to make plans. They can, they sing like that. It's the girls. Oh, no, it's not, Chris. No, it's not. His, you've got a voice. When Nora and I met you last year down in North Carolina, I said, oh, you've got that Island Parker up. Wow, that's that's a big compliment. And I just found out something. Danny Thunderbird just did one of your songs. Danny did. Oh. I, I wrote a song called Anybody Want to Have a Church Here Today. That we did, and it, it did good for us, but you know, we don't, because we don't travel, it don't do right. anything. I don't want to get well, promoted that much. But he heard it, Danny comes on the show a lot, and watches us, and he liked it. He said, Hey, I think I want to record your song, which I was just flabbergasted that put it in. Oh, I'm sure. sure to me. <laughs> but he's the nicest guy you ever met. To me, he's one of gospel music's greatest. I agree with that. Yes. And, uh, I just got to hear it for the first time yesterday. Uh, I actually just heard it on the way to Shelly's phone. She's playing it while I'm actually doing it. Have you listened yet? You don't have nothing let me hear? I can let you hear mine, but I can't let you hear his version, but it is so good. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great for you. You get somebody like him behind you. I am. I'm really excited about it. And it's just God opening doors. You know? I mean, I want not to pursue it or anything. Right? Getting right here. You just want to do what God has called you to do. You want it to reach everybody. That's right. And, and Susan and Christina and I, we really sing two ministers. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We have we church. Do that. We have church and we have invitations every time that we sing. That's why it's all about just sharing the love of Jesus with people. Now, we were at Russell Tons together. Now, and that is Let's Have Church. Yeah. We had some church. Did, <laughs> I actually saw Russell just back at the first week of September. We do a thing at Myrtle Beach every year with Sunshine Recovery Ministries. And it's called Contra Group. And they help get people off the streets, people who are addicted to the illness. So we have a big concert every year with that. And, uh, and Russell came down for that. So, yeah. I love, I work in drug recovery after the treatment. I go in and make some videos. I would that love that. Next year. And my friend Martin, who is running yeah. the camera right now, she has a street She's a street pastor. She beats the hungry. She goes and helps the homeless. Yes. That's great. Yes. An amazing, amazing So we, we together, we just do a little bit to help somebody. Uh, you have somebody that you love that's addicted and you can't reach them, you can help somebody else. I'm telling somebody out there that when you have somebody that you love that's, that's, you know, that's addicted to drugs and you can't seem to get it, to, just can't get the point across, go help somebody else. And then you know what? The Lord's going to send somebody to help you. That's absolutely right. And, you know, people didn't set out to become addicted. No. In fact, like most of the people that I've met that are addicted, especially now, they started out on some kind of pain medication that they were on and they just went to another really quick. And that's, that's sad. That's going on in our world. A lot of sad things in our world, but there's a lot of good things too. Oh, yeah. And it's going to get gooder, right? It's going to get gooder and gooder is what it's going to do. It is. I think we're just now entering into a time that we've never been. I think we're going to see miracles like we did during this thing. I think we're going to see God's hand move and we're going to be wow. Yeah. And then Jesus is coming soon. And he is. Yeah. And we thank God. Oh my. That's what the Bible says. Got to be ready. 
I'm so glad you stopped by. I like the hat. Thank Very you very much. Hat. You don't have to wear it on the show. I do that. Say, ma'am, this is for you, Miss Kelly. <laughs> Very next time I see you on there, that's what I'm going to have. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.